Christina Daniels is 13 years old and she is a star. She can sing and dance. Everyone knows her. Everyone loves her. They call her Curls because she has beautiful curly hair. They all want her photo. She can have anything she wants. But is she happy? Does she want to be a star? Tina, why are you eating chocolates? Her mother asks. I like them. They're nice, Tina says. You're getting fat and the fat girl doesn't get lots of money in Hollywood, Mrs. Daniel says. You want the money. I don't, Tina says. Tina is angry with her mother and Mrs. Daniel is angry with Tina. Tina leaves the room and cries. Tina is very sad. She does not want to be a star. She wants a quiet life. One day, she has an idea. Her school friend, Mary, has a grandmother called Mrs. White. Old Mrs. White lives in the country, in Stone Church. Tina has a photo of Mary in front of Mrs. White's house. It looks very pretty, not like the city. Tina decides to go there. Tina is at the city station. She's wearing jeans and old jumper. People do not know who she is. Where do you want to go, young girl? The man at the ticket office asks her. Stone Church, please. When's the next train? Tina asks. The train leaves at two o'clock from platform three, the man says. Tina buys her ticket. Tina arrives at Stone Church. She sees an old house near the river. It is the house in the photo. There are flowers and trees in the garden. Mrs. White must live here, Tina thinks. She goes to the front door and rings the bell. An old lady with white hair and a kind face opens the door. A black cat comes out too. Good afternoon. Who are you? The old lady asks. Oh, hello, Mrs. White. My name is Tina. I'm a school friend of your granddaughter, Mary. Mary's a school friend. How nice to meet you. What are you doing in Stone Church, Tina? Mrs. White asks. Tina says she hates the city life. Well, says Mrs. White, come in and have a cup of tea, my dear. Tina and Mrs. White drink tea and talk. Mrs. White does not know Tina is a star. She does not have a television or a radio. Tina is very happy. Mrs. White says, Tina, you can stay with me for a week, but first you must telephone your mother. Tina is angry with her mother and doesn't telephone her. Mother says yes. She says to Mrs. White later. Her face is a little red. Two days later, Mrs. White is taking Tina for a walk. Look at the lambs, Mrs. White says. Yes, I love them. I want to be a lamb. They can jump and run and be happy. You can run and jump and be happy too, Tina. No, I can't. I... Tina, you're young. Run! Tina is living a very different life in the country. She sees new things all the time. Now, it is night, and Tina and Mrs. White are waiting. It is very quiet. Every night, some hedgehogs come to the garden. Mrs. White puts out food for them. 
"I love their long brown noses," Mrs. White says. "So do I," says Tina. "Oh, look!" says Tina. A big brown fox is running across the garden. At first, Tina is very happy to see the fox. There aren't any foxes in gardens in the city. Then she sees the fox has something in its mouth. The something is Mrs. White's chicken. Mrs. White is very angry and wants to kill the fox. Mrs. White and Tina look at the fox work. The chickens are making a terrible noise. We can't have eggs for breakfast in the morning, Tina," says Mrs. White. "Why not?" asks Tina. "The chickens aren't very happy. When they aren't happy, they can't give us eggs," Mrs. White explains. For breakfast, Tina has toast and fresh orange juice. Three days later, Tina is with Bella, the horse. She loves Bella and gives her some sugar. Today, the postman has a letter for Mrs. White. When he sees Tina, he says, "I don't believe it. It's curls." Then he says to her, "Everyone is looking for you. You're in all the newspapers." He runs to his red van to find his newspaper. Mrs. White reads the postman's newspaper. Tina says, "Mrs. White, you're the last TV star, aren't you? I don't understand. Um, your mother, yes, I'm curse. But please, don't send me home." I'm happy here with you. I'm coming with you to see your mother. I've got a good idea, Mrs. White says. Tina's mother is very happy to see Tina again. Mrs. White explains her idea. Tina can go to her friend's school on the Isle of Guernsey between England and France. Tina can have friends there who do not know she's curls. What? I want Tina to be a star," Mrs. Dennis says. "She wants to be happy," Mrs. White says quietly. Tina is at school in Guernsey. She has new friends, new interests. One day, Tina's friend is reading a magazine. It is about film and television stars. There are lots of beautiful photos of beautiful people. Everyone looks very happy. What a wonderful life! The friend says. Tina smiles to herself. Who wants to be a star? <laughs> She says. I don't. <laughs>